Hello there, this is Kisu102 and this is Lunar Days Sim Date. Like you may guess, this is a Puck Thesis game. I am really loving it. And I haven't even played yet. Which is fine. I'm gonna shut up and let's do this. My name is Karina. Fine. Every week, I take a trip to the local library. I do like books, but I'm not a that obsessed with them. I come here for a pretty weird reason, actually. Lately, I've been having this reoccurring dream of being here alone with a book in my hands. No title, no author. It just has a blank green cover. What could be written inside? A fantasy story? Daily entrance for a journal? Information about some sort of science, or are its page blank too? I still don't know. The dream always come to an end when I open it. At first, I I thought nothing of it, but eventually this dream began to haunt me. So that's why I'm here, carelessly passing time alone in this library. Pretty lame, huh? I think what I really want is just to stop having that dream. Huh? What was that? I think I heard something. Did it come from over there? Wait, it's that book. Am I dreaming? But this dream will end if I open it, right? Might as well wake up, I guess. What? What just happened? Where am I? Hey, get out of the way! <laughs> uh, please excuse me, are you alright? Yeah, I'm okay. Well, good. I wouldn't be able to forgive myself if I heard a lovely lady like you. Huh? What's with this guy? He's over here. Oops, gotta go. Wait, that's... Hey, get back here! Huh? Freeze. Nice try. Hold it, stop! Hey, leave this to us. But, uh... What am I supposed to do? I don't even know what's going on. What? You want to catch him, right? Come on. Don't let him get away. Game over, Bian. Mm. It's alright. I still got the lights left. It looks like I just turned one up. Hey! Ah! Thanks, officer. I knew that I could count on you. Oh, how did he? Don't just stand up. Get him. Catch me if you can, losers. Well, that was an adventure. I thought I was done for. Are you alright? Yeah, thanks. You saved me. Don't mention it. Um, uh, goodbye. Wait! We lost him. Again. But jeez, I can't believe that giraffe actually did something useful today. That's a mean thing to say about someone. But I guess it's fine. Are you okay? Sorry, I didn't mean to drag you into something dangerous. I'm still dreaming, right? What are you talking about? I think I know what's going on. You're a troubler, aren't you? A troubler? Right, I can tell you're not from this world by your clothing. I, I don't like where this is going. What do you mean? I got here by opening up some magic book, but that guy took it after I bound him to him. So am I stuck? I can't stay here. I have to go home. Come down. We'll catch him and get your book back. Until then, you can stay with us. Wait, what? You can't be serious. We can't let her sleep on streets. But... Ugh, whatever. So what's your name? Karina. Cool. 
I'm Terence. Introduce yourself to Elias. I have a friend whose name is Elias. I'm sorry. Don't look so worried. I think we're all tired. We should head back now, huh? Hey, Tara. What? Why are we still in this city? We should move on. You want to give up on Bian? No, but... We should focus on capturing thieves with higher bounties. Thieves who are worse, like Zoa. You think that we can catch him? Hunters of out of our league who even try always fail. Well, somebody's gotta catch him. We can't let thieves like that more loose. Forget about it. It's been too long since anybody's seen him. God knows where he is now. Where are you going? Gotta go some sleep. Gotta go get some sleep. Don't mind us, just make yourself a thumb. You can use my bed for now. I sleep on the floor. Uh, uh, yeah, are you really okay with that? Yeah, it's not like something a king would use, but uh, it's the best I can offer. Well, thanks. I really appreciate it. I don't belong here. I feel so lost in this world. Hey, Bion, how's it going? You! Sorry, I didn't mean to take this. Hey, my book. You'll need it to get back to your world. What? It's magic. Only works when the moon is full. But right now the lunar cycles on the new moon. You have to wait about a month until you can leave this place. Hold on a second. Don't worry, you'll be fine. The city isn't as dangerous as it used to be. Who are you? My name's Bian. I mean, how do you know all the stuff about this book? It's a long story. I better not tell it now. This place isn't too safe for me with those bounty hunters nearby. Let's meet again soon, princess. Wait! Why does not... Everybody... Everybody just don't care about it. Because they don't... It will be fine, don't worry about it. Whatever. I'll take a look at all this... Jeez, this... What? A pencil! Not much here. Besides this pencil. I found a pencil I even wasn't trying to get it. Let's go to the hotel. I can rest here. And... Hey! You're Felix? Alex! Right. Is that pencil you have there? I actually need something to write with. How about a tray? I only have this paperclip though. It's my pencil! I guess a paper clip again. It's not fair dry it off. It's my pencil. <laughs> Let's see. Station house. Oh! You are here. What's your name? Hello. Oh, thanks for back saving me. No problem. Continue. Um, so what are you doing? Just about to sign some paper and things. Oh. What's your name? Fidel. Miss, uh, sorry, I should have introduced myself. Don't worry, I just came for that. It's fine. Nord outskirts. Uh, factory? Second of Ben, I better not go since it'd be too dark to see anything. Hmm. There's some soil. Hmm. I'll come back later with something I can use to see. Hmm, let's see. It's district. It's district. This place is huge. Leas. I already know your name. And Terence. I already know your name too. Your name is just like Tinkerbell's movie. It's, uh, it's district the shop. Hey, you are that guy from the anime sim date, I guess. Hardly making any money here. I believe that Jello Morrow for picking all the lame American things for me to sell. Well, I'm sorry. Project Toaster and Toaster and Glow in the Dark. Ha! <laughs> Neat. Eastgate. The woods. Eh? Soft soil. There is a lot of soil everywhere. Let's go. Where have I go? 
West Flower Shop. Oh, hey! What's your name? Oh, this is a shop I didn't know. I mostly sell flowers, but this time of year is harsh on me since there's hardly any sunlight out. Oh, makes sense. No, not at all, sorry. There wasn't a very warm welcome. I was just surprised to see a new face around here. Don't worry. I need to go rest. I am so sorry. Wait, can I rest here? Oh, right. Makes makes sense. Red market. Marker. I should be able to find things. Not that I'm finding soil everywhere. And I'm searching for a lamp too. Carousel Road. Hmm. Well, I guess some more soil doesn't hurt anyone. Yeah. I don't even know what soil is. Guess it's fine. The carousel. There is no one here. It's kind of creepy. I don't like it. West. Mm, Central Plaza. South? Oh, I haven't been here. The boar. Hey, you're the one who I've been seeing all packs this is games. Because you're Mr. Toko, or so I think. South outskirts. What can I get from here? Hey! There's a drawing of a bird here. That's a weird bird. It's fine. So it's just empty with just one beard. I'll draw something with my marker. <laughs> Alright then. You make that. Sandra Plaza. I think I'll sleep at the hotel. 26 days. No. Alright, let's go back. I forgot where all the guys were. Oh! I also need uh, a lamp. You wanna take my pencil, huh? You don't wanna trade it for a lamp. That's fine. I have a paper clip. Now we'll go talk to people so that they need a perfect clip. You need a paper clip? Maybe we should become things and start stealing. We wouldn't have to work for good anymore, and it sounds easy enough. I once saw a guy I heard about stole practically everything that could be stolen if he never got caught. That doesn't sound good. You pay way too little. Let's see, the shop, this gate... Oh yeah, the soil. I need a lamp. I guess if I get a lamp, I, I can put it soil, right? And it will burn. I don't really know about it. I actually don't know anything about anything. Let's just keep it up. North Street, the Hotel West Street. I already be here. Do you want my paperclip? Mm, no, I'm just browsing. I don't have any money on me. It's okay, feel free to hang around around them. Oh, you are kind. There's nothing anymore here. The central plaza and all the stuff. Mm, East Street. I've already been here. South Street. I've already been here too. The bar. Oh, you want the paper clip? Here about this super cool guy named Zoa. Apparently, he can steal things like treasures and hold inventor invent inventories. I hope he doesn't ever get Romy though. You don't have anything worth it. I'm just saying. South outskirts. Oh, hey. Looks like they added a tree to this drawing. <gasps> Is it Zoa? Is it Zoa drawing these things? That would be amazing. S let's draw something too. The bird seems kind of lonely. So I'll try it a friend. That is definitely not the same as the other bird. But whatever, I guess. We are not artists. Mm, there's nothing here. The bar, Central Plaza, South Street, that's where I came from. East Street, that's where I... Oh, it's District? Oh, it's those guys. It's Gate, the shop... Wait! 
Do they need a purple clip? <laughs> I should ask. You want a paper clip? What's with the angry look? You're talking about that's how I always look. You don't want the paper clip. What do you want? You're like, I just, I just, I just want to chat. Go find another spotter, okay. I'll go search for someone who wants my paper clips. What about you, Terrence? What does your book look like? I'm sure that we can get it back once because you oh. pay. Oh, well, Bayon actually gave it to me. What? When? It's weird. You guys can begin to let us know, okay? I think it's trying to mess with us. He is indeed. I will try to search for a person with a paperclip. Oh, actually, that wants a paperclip. And then I'll come to talk to you. I'll actually choose a guy before then. And this paperclip thing is really bothering me. I've already been here, North Street. Oh, right. You! You want a paperclip? I <laughs> should really play in kids place. It's hard to keep papers in order without a paperclip or something. You want a paperclip! You wouldn't have uh, one by chance, would you? I actually have one. You can have it. Well, thank you so much. You can have this in return. These are scissors. I'll go search for someone that has scissors. I can't go to the factory yet. I really want to go to the factory. I'm really a curious person if you ask me. Do you want my scissors? The city seems to attract a lot of trouble from different wards. Um, many paths of trouble must cross through here, I suppose. I suppose. You want the scissors? Hey! Whoa, that was fast! Hey, your name is Aiden! Like, uh, from uh, Beyond Two Souls. Hey, you have scissors. I could use a person of scissors around the corner. I'll jig you in my pocket knife. Sure. Amazing! I have a pocket knife. Who would want a pocket knife? Hmm. Alright. Mr. Toko haven't asked for anything yet. You pick all the Americans in all the stores. It's tough, huh? I wanna buy a whole buy to myself from here and I'm on enough money. So Oh! The teddy bear! I see. Teddy bears are cute. I think that's supposed to be a house. <laughs> well, I can say my drawings are any better. That actually looks like a perfect house to me. Those are cute flowers. Just like the character I'm using there right now. Let's see. South Street. South Street. Who is at the South Street? Oh. No, I've been already here. I actually came from here. East Street. I'll ask um, Elias and Terrence if they want my scissors. You want my scissors? Oh, right, pocket knife. <laughs> if you're not going to use it, I'll take your hands for you. Oh, you can have it. I swear for me, I don't really have any use. It screwdriver. Do you want the screwdriver? Trouble is like yourself a pretty common thing around here, actually. I guess a lot of paths of trouble go through this world. You just said the same thing as the Alex cat. So, have you been other travelers? Yeah, quite a few, actually. It's easy to tell by how they dress and talked. Alright. I'll go search for someone who wants a screwdriver. This is getting weird, but it's fine. Solga. Is that your name, right? Yeah. Oh, that was fast! <laughs> Do you need that screwdriver? I'll give you something that um, you don't want it. Um, how about this magnifying glass? Oh, sure. Thanks, the radiators have been making weird noises. Maybe I can fix it tomorrow with this. Terrence, do you want a magnifying glass? Before I go somewhere else? Reading will be much easier for me with... <laughs> I am so smart. For me with a magnifying glass like that. Where did you get it from? Um, well, like... Well, you can have it. <laughs> oh, sure. Here, you have my lint brush. I don't use it much anymore. What is a lint brush? What is that? Lint? What does lint means? What? Can I soil it? <laughs> soil it. Soil it. Where is my thing? Oh, there he is. Soil! Seems like I can't. And I have a lot of strangers, guys. It's fine. Let's see. Uh, Cinder Plaza. 
Mm, why haven't I talked to you? Did actually ask me for something. Mr. Toko. Where is Mr. Toko? Right here. You. A lint brush. I am a smart. Your bartender needs to look neat all the time. Say, I'll give you some super cool flirt. Sure. A flashlight. I am so happy. I am so happy. I love you, Mr. Toko. I'll work for you. I'll go to sleep at the hotel. Jeez. That took me a lot to get the flash flashlight. Now where is the factory anyway? Oh wait. There's those drawings out here. Cute rainbow. It's colorless, but it's definitely a rainbow. I can't draw dogs, but that's the better I'll do. It, it seems like it has five legs. It's fine. I also draw dogs like that. Let's see, Westrut? Carousel? Around? No, it's not here. Is there anything new at the carousel? No, it's not. It's fine. Let's go to the factory. I really want to know what is in there. This is not the factory. Is this the factory? This is the factory? It's not the factory. It's definitely not. Central Plaza? East Street? Not the East Street. West Street? No. North Street? This place is huge. North Asquish. Oh, the factory. Well, that was fucking surprising. <laughs> so it's another guy. So how's it going? No. Oh. Hi. Hello. You are really polite. Actually, you're covering the bandages. I didn't notice. So, uh, I'm in treading. No. You live here? Yes, I do. So, um, I am Karina, I think. Oh, okay. So, what do you usually do around here? Not much. So, what is. It? You're pretty. You are way too honest, man. That's fine. We'll go to the hotel. Of the most guys I actually know, I still have to go to the carousel and see what happens. I'll go to the carousel all day, so my life. Where is the carousel? Oh, there you go. If it nothing nothing happens at the carousel, I'm gonna be so upset. But no impact this is. This must be something. Kind of a riddle or something right there. With this soil. I just know it. But it's fine if I don't actually know it. I'll just play it again and again and again until I know. Which is too fine. So, um... Who are you? Sky. Your name's amazing. So, do you dislike talking? I don't do it much. I can see that. You have a weird name, though. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Your eyes look like the moon. My eyes are... blue? Yeah. Yeah! So, uh, is that a good or bad? The oh, the- what? What? It's good or bad? <laughs> it's a good thing. Well, your name's Sky. What should I ask him? Hmm, it's with the cut ears. I was born with them. I can see that they are attached to your head. What's with the bandages? It's okay. Sore spots. You're leaving. Yeah. Oh. I uh, might come back later. Oh, okay. You are cute as hell. I am really liking you. I am not that kind of girl with uh, the love, 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 love guys with uh, cut ears. But I guess you're pretty much fine. I guess I like you guys who don't not talk much. Maybe because I talk a lot. I wouldn't know. Will you keep coming back here? Yeah! I'm sorry. Yeah! <laughs> but so... Oh, am I scary? Oh no! You're just fine. Then you don't just dislike me. I don't! So, uh, what's wrong? Nothing? Are you okay? I am okay. I like the way you look. I look like a human. <laughs> do you want to do something? Should we play hide and seek? Hide and seek? That's cute. Well, um, uh, 
There aren't many hiding places. I guess there aren't. You are cute. Nobody plays hide and seek. Unless you are already going out of high school and you go on a camping. Then you do hide and seek. It's amazing when you do it. North Street. Our outskirts. The factory. You live in a beautiful factory. You are now my friend. What should I ask him? You do live here, Euler. Do you have any family? I don't know. Why? Oh! I should pay more attention. I never leave this place. No one comes here anymore. Why are you here? I was wondering. It was a factory. Yeah, it says in big letters that it was a factory. Friends, they are nice to have. You are my friend. Oh, there aren't many butterflies around here anymore, are there? Well, uh, I don't think... Do you like butterflies? Yes, I like them very much. That green book, where do you always have it with you? Well, uh, in order to go back to my world. Another world. Oh. You're a traveler. I am. Isn't that amazing? Also, I just... I just... Uh, remember that this is here. They drew a person. Come to think of it, who's been adding this drawing on here with me? I'll draw a person, a friend. <laughs> it's amazing. Maybe it is this guy, Soa. Maybe. That would be amazing. That would be actually a kind of cliche, but I like cliches. They're kind of good once in a while. So, how's it going? You're friends, right? Yeah! I do like you. When you leave this place, where do you go? Just back to the city. Don't worry, I'll always come back here. Okay. I could show you a gun to me. Stay here for now. Don't be all scared. The people from your world look like you. Well, I guess. What do you mean? Do they also have brain eyes and... Oh, no, they don't. Everyone in your world looks pretty then. That sounds nice. <laughs> what should I have? So how long have you been living here? I don't know, it's been a while. That doesn't sound really good. Does not sound really good at all. I don't need to go there. Actually, Elias and Terrence are actually lending them... Lending me their house. And I'm just sleeping at the hotel. I feel bad now. You pay better than your friend. <laughs> it's fine. Oh, can I work? Amazing! I'll go sleep right here with everyone else. The moon is green. I didn't notice until now. I am stupid. I already knew that. Let's go back to this district. Let's sleep again. Let's see our beautiful green moon. Let's go back to sky. It's a really long way from my home to sky, man. There you go. You think that I'm bad? Well, you, why would you think that? I'm a cat. Cats aren't a good thing to be. I love cats. Cats are amazing. There used to be many people here, but uh, they all left though. Oh, why did they leave? I'm not sure why they did. Why do you bring it up then? Were they factory workers? I think so. They work here. Like me. You work here? Lots of steel was made here. I remember working every day, every hard. What did I read? I remember working very hard every day. Well, uh... Doesn't sound like a pleasant job to have. I was never paid much, but I did have some friends. That was nice. It must be. So, uh, why are you still here? I'm afraid to leave school. I live here. Jeez, can you sing? I, well, uh, I don't know. Why do you ask? I am a little speed sleepy. A lullaby will be nice. You are like a child. I love you. I hate childs. <laughs> I don't hate them. I just don't have the patience for them. 
think it's that's bad. That's really bad. Still sleepy. Just a little. Don't you want to go outside to play? <laughs> it's better to stay here. You're really afraid of the outside, aren't you? Hey, you're my love interest. Well, um... What about we go together? You'll be right with me, right? Yeah. I guess it has been a while since I've seen the city. That's the spirit. Alright. Well, why are you nervous about it anyway? People in the city don't like me. But you like me, right? Don't change how I see you. Yes, of course I do. I don't have enough energy. Oh, come. Can I sleep with Yay! I can sleep in your factory. I... I... That doesn't matter. I'm going to stay in this world. Well, uh, I'm not really sure. Scrap, you know that I belong here. I have to go home someday. Where did you belong here? Should I hug you? Do you need a hug? Maybe. I would like one. You are like a cute little child. Don't girls like hugs? Maybe I could also use one. You are like a child. Do you know what fireworks are? Well, uh... Well, I've seen them before. Not the real ones. I've seen them in a book once. Oh, so you like to read. That's good to hear. People should read more, actually. There was an accident here once. It made me ugly burns. I don't like seeing them, so I covered them up. That's what the bandages are from. So, uh... Sure didn't think to make you look that bad. Suppose that you wouldn't mind as them as I much I would. Wonder if wishes really do come true if you wish upon a star. I wouldn't say so. I don't really know. I never have wished anything to a star. Not even when I was a kid. But you can believe it. Why not try it out? Well, if it doesn't true, then just keep on with life. I can tell you, or else it will come true, right? <laughs> I guess so. I did have a friend a long time ago. He shared many of his books with me. So, uh, what happened to him? He left, I guess. You are really... <laughs> you can't read, right? He will read some of them to me. It was nice. I didn't know you couldn't read. Maybe I should ask him. So, um... Where did you come from? I'm not really sure. I don't remember that far back. I see. I'll rest in front of you. Am I tall or are you short? Probably a bit of though. Uh, whoa! That took me a lot of energy. You're kind of a tall side. But I don't like being tall. Why? If I was shorter, I'd be able to see your face better. Well, uh... Being short has some convenience too. And think about that. Well, uh, I don't think that it will look all that different. I'd be closer, wouldn't I? I wouldn't know. Are you cold? When I cold, I cover myself in blankets. It really helps. I do that too. I somehow can't imagine you doing that. Really? I do it like a lot. I like to curl up in many blankets. <laughs> that sounds really cute. Look on your face. That does mean that you'll be leaving soon. I'm going back when the moon's full. The moon. It's almost full, isn't it? It is indeed. 50 days. I like the moon. I'm going to miss it when the day season comes. Well, uh, I always come back. I wish that you will come back every day, year too. Every day, year. Every year too. Maybe. You're making me sad, man. I'll miss you when you're gone. Well, I miss you too. Both sad, aren't we? You're making me depressed. Friends are hard to make for me. You just talk to someone and you say, Hey, be my friend, and they will, oh, well, alright. And then you hang out with them. Well, uh, I'm sure the people around here will be your friends. At least you and I met. I suppose that was a good thing. Be more positive. You really think so? It would be nice if they like me. 
You actually said that they didn't like you because of your ears and your tail. Uh, it's thanks to you that I'm not afraid to live in this place anymore. Oh! Well, you're welcome. Happy that I met you. I'm happy that I met you too. 40 more days. So, uh, let's talk again. I do love you a lot. Is that okay? Well, as love is a good thing to have. It's a good thing, but somehow I feel a bit sad. I have end of the dialogue path, and Sky is now my soulmate. Isn't that wonderful? Love is a good thing. I love you, so I can go work and buy things for you. Let's see. Oh, right, the drawings. I forgot about them. Oh, what's up, Ian? Where are you guys? Karina, can you do us a favor? Oh, sure, but you guys called Bian. How? Oh. We saw him by coincidence here. Elias was being dumb and church tried to him, but fell into rubble and ended up hurting his leg. Stupid. At least he knocked Bian down so I could catch him. I need to bring Bian to the station and collect the bounty, but I want to leave Elias here by myself. Where I could take Elias back to the hideout while you watch Bian. I tied him so he won't be able to escape easily. What do you think? Well, I, uh... I, uh... Well, you're being a jerk every time. And... You return my book. I'll watch over you. Maybe you can manage to escape. I pressed the wrong button. Are you okay? Yeah, I should be able to work normally again after a couple of days. What's going to happen to Bian? Station will ship him out of prison. Won't be casting any more trouble now. Well, that's actually kind of a relief. He was... Um... Uh, that kind of guy. Why did you choose to hit here with me? Wouldn't you rather watch out Bian? I thought that you could use some company. Wait, why do you think I'd rather watch over Bian? No, maybe I'm jealous. What did you say? Nothing. <gasps> You say that you were jealous. I did not. It's getting cold out here. Can I sit closer to you? Sure. There I should be here soon. I'll see you around whenever, I guess. Well, that was awkward. Hey, Father Ericus. What is this? There's nothing here. Well, whatever. I came out. Well, what? I already have Sky, so I won't mess up with everything yet. But that was really weird. The carousel didn't give me shit. Stupid carousel. I'm gonna work. But uh, I am so lost. This place is so big. Jeez, East Street. There you go. Let's go back and sleep somewhere else. This, right here. Oh, we're about to learn to Care to join us? Oh, sounds great. You boil the carrots again? Ugh. Eat up. They're good for you. I'm not laying a finger on them. I am so with you right now. Whoa! Hold it back quick, Karina! You freak! Let go of me! <laughs> I don't know what am I supposed to do? If there was actually best friend, I will actually... Hey, hey, Elias, you should fuck it the demo, the hell out of them. But I, I actually don't like them, too. I know how Elias feel. I'll side with Elias. Come on, Terrence, we shouldn't force him to eat something here else that doesn't want to. That's right! Let go, you bastard! You won't become strong and you don't eat your vegetables, though. You're not my mother, but you should eat your vegetables. Just saying. What? Were you looking at me? I did do nothing. Thanks. For what? Nothing. You're being cute, jerk. 
just like a Prince Joseph. I mean, King Joseph. Knight? Yeah, Joseph Knight. Yeah! What would he like? Uh, he wouldn't like books. Well, even if I read them. But I don't know, I don't know if he's gonna read them. Give me a rose. Let's see, Central Plaza. Where is Mr. Toko? Right here, the bar. Playing cards and harmonica. An apostle cube. I don't know. Those are way too smart things for a child. I'm not saying that they are dumb. I'm just saying that, well, it may be kind of boring to them. You want my rose? Ugh, you're just talking about butterflies. It's fine. Oh. You like this? I gotta whoa! I gotta buy the fuck out of them. <laughs> let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, well, do they sell these ones? Solga. Solga sells them. Solga is definitely not here. Solga is right here. Right here. Here is Solga. I'll buy this. But if I, mm, I can always try. Mm. I'll try. Oh wait, I want to buy more of this. Give me one. I guess if we go on a date, he's gonna ask me, Hey, give me some gifts. And I'd be like, what? I don't have gifts for you. He's gonna be all upset. And he does like it. Oh! Oh! It was amazing! Let's go on a date. Do we? No? Yeah! So, uh, talk to you? It's nice- <laughs> your clothes are different. It's nice to be in the city sometimes, I suppose. At least if they don't kill you, it's gonna be fine. It's nice to be in the city sometimes, I suppose. I already said that. It's nice to be in the city. I gotta kick you in the face. I gotta punch you so hard. Take this one. Oh, thank you. Don't worry about it. I found this the other day, you can have it. Oh, thank you. You found it in the ground and just give it to me. You are just a child. Let's kiss. <laughs> Let's finish this date, man. We shall head back. Oh, you're blushing the hell out of yourself. We shall, uh, like, head back right now. Right? Right? Let's head back. You have a new storybook. Everything will be fine. I'll gotta work. Wait, what? Will you read this book to me? Huh? I can't read. Oh, you can. Yeah, I mean, sure. <laughs> Once upon a time, there was a robot named Terry. Even though he had a toaster for a head, Terry was the smartest robot of all. His best friend was a little girl named Nina. She was kind and very clever. Terry was in love with Nina. Robots do not have feelings, but Terry did. He was a miracle. Terry knew that robots were not supposed to love people, but he did not know why. He liked loving Nina. Being in love made him feel special and happy. When Nina got older, she fell in love with Terry and they lived happily ever after. Nina became old and lived a full life, so she passed away. But Terry was left behind because life was timeless for robots. Terry didn't understand why robots were not supposed to love people. He became unhappy because he could no longer see Nina. To become happy, Terry shut himself down. Perhaps this way he got to see Nina again. The end. Seriously? Yeah! That's, that's what I was thinking! Is this seriously a kid's book? It was really a downer ending. You were crying so much! What's wrong? Terry was sad because Nina died. But you're crying over a story. I won't be sad if you died. Oh, that's so cute. Don't leave me behind. I don't want to be alone anymore. What are you talking about? It's not like I'm going to suddenly leave. Karina? Don't worry. I'm here now, right? You won't be alone anymore. Thank you. Jeez, this is getting deeper and deeper on me, man. I 
I'm not gonna fucking leave you ever anymore. You make me feel terrible. I gotta work. Jeez, I need to buy the other book. <laughs> It'll be amazing. Let's see, the hotel. Hotel. I'm gonna rest. The f moon is beautiful. I'm gonna work. I need to go on another date with him. I'm just saying. Let's see, let's see. The hotel. And, uh... I was actually working to Solga. What am I doing with Mr. Doko? I am so dumb. Solga, what the fuck are you? Here you are. Why didn't you tell me, Solga? There you are. Okay. I'm gonna buy Project Toaster. But that is a noble, and this is a... Yeah, he's not gonna like it. But I buy these things. I bought. I'm sorry, I don't have problems with that. He's not gonna like the novel. He's definitely not gonna like it. Because it doesn't have cute... Uh, those things, those things. Those things, uh... Those things. Let's rest and go on a date, man. That book was fucking sad. Yep. Talk to me. We can see the moon Crowley here. It's nice. It is nice. I wouldn't mind coming here again with you. This place is very pretty. It is pretty. I wouldn't mind. It is pretty. I'll give you this. You can have it. You can give me a harmonica again. <laughs> we can make out and finish this date. <laughs> Jeez. We should head back. Exactly what I was thinking. This is getting stupid. And I like for my part. You are just amazing. What should I do? What should I do? I came all this way to sleep when I just remember I could sleep right in front of him. I'm so stupid. Let's go on another date. This is the wrong way. This is the right way. This is the not right way. And then you click the factory and there you are. Talk to me. I forgot I already finished it. I forgot that I could do this. Ah, uh, let's date. Yep. Uh, let's talk. I'm glad that we can share the side of this fountain together. Things are better when you do, when you do them with someone else. I guess so. That is really true. I wouldn't mind kind of this place is fucking pretty. It's nice to be in the city sometimes, I suppose. It is nice. Since you just live in a factory, it should be nice. You give me another harmonica. I have three of them and I don't even know how to play one. That is marvelous. It's a relationship lost heart. Amazing. We should head back right now. No. We should head back now, right? Right. I am getting kinda of tired. Hmm. What can I do to you? Should I go to the carousel? Let's go to the carousel. Carousel. Oh, let's talk to this guy. How's it going, man? Uh, I told him I am. Um, I forgot. Suits you, you must like it, right? It's a shame that my name is only funny sounding. Uh, in Mexico, it's a pretty normal name. Your clothes are strange. I didn't mean to say that you are strange. It's because I have never seen anyone like dressed like you. Don't be all weird. Do you think I look weird? Not at all, you just, you just look fine. <laughs> You're amazing. I'm trying to pry, but, but are you a troubler? Yep. I wish an emerald world then. Welcome to the emerald world. This is the name of the world I'm in. Amazing to know. So why do you come to this world? Actually, I'm in a secret mission. <laughs> I'm sorry. I was kind of brought here against my will, I'll be fine, so. That sounds pretty troublesome. 
which I could have, but I probably wouldn't be able to much do. To do much. I don't know much about traveling. Uh, well, um... So you're an officer? Yes, I can say that's my best at my job. Though. Don't worry, don't don't let everyone don't let everyone bring you down. You do what you can. That's just fine. I'm just gonna end this cycle here because I f don't know what to do. And I think I got it. I think I do. I'm just finally full. The book should be able to bring me back home, right? Maybe I shall say goodbye to everyone before I leave. So you're leaving now. I'm going back home. I see. Will you come back? I can't promise that I will. I don't know a lot about the magic of this book. Oh. I might uh, be alone again. That's not entirely true. There are other people in this city too. You can make new friends and... That's right, you're not afraid of leaving the factory anymore, right? Now you can actually free. You can do whatever you want. Thank you, Karina. Oh, come on, don't cry. Sorry, I'm just sad. I love you. I love you so much. But you have to leave, right? It's just how things are supposed to be. I will f stay with you. Things will be better if I stayed here. You don't really know how much. Really stay? I'll stay because you make me be pity of you because you were crying. And because I like you a lot. It would be really sad if I leave too. Might as well both make us happy, huh? I thought that I was afraid of being alone again, but maybe I was actually more afraid of the thought of you going away. Is that because I'm in love with you? You're blushing. You're so cute. Probably, but don't worry up anymore. I'm staying right here. Thank you so much, Karina. Thank you, Sky. You were actually really cute. You were burned. Now I see your burns. Huh? We're in this story again? It's a good story, isn't it? It's sad and boring. You think so? You child are amazing. But this book is very special to me. Your mother gave it to me. Oh, I guess it's not that bad. <laughs> Kids. So, Barter Master and automatically unlocks Sky. Good. Fin. Good. So then. <sighs> That's all I have to say. This was Lunar Day's Sim Date by Pactesis. This is a beautiful place. And, uh. I am Kiso102. In case you didn't know, I haven't been saying it a lot lately. It's fine though. Comment if you will like. Like if you liked it. And subscribe if you want to see more. You'll never know. I'm actually uploading every day which is weird coming from me I'm gonna shut up I guess I'll see you guys later see ya